Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, guys? Hey. So uh, we are back with the House of Pain campaign. Let the campaign. Uh, the campaign. <gasps> oh. oh. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, so. <laughs> oh shit, that was dumb as fuck. We all dabbed. <laughs> yeah. uh, it is two o'clock in the morning. It is. And so. we're all very sleep to But I'm yeah. very excited. But we're, we're excited to bring these characters back. Uh, we actually, so for the month of October, it won't really affect you guys at all if you're watching. Um, we will not have a main campaign recording session. And uh, we decided we were going to bring back the Bash Brothers. Bash Brothers. Because it's been a while, and we're a little more advanced now, so we think we can have a little more fun. We've grown. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, we're excited. So we're going to jump in at, what, level eight? Yeah. Uh, yep. We've both multi-classed into different classes than we are currently playing. So I'm super excited. Uh, Justin's pretty much flying from the seat of his pants on this one. But yeah, I've prepared, like, I have, like, two bullet points, and I've got, like, four names. <laughs> so so Perf. we're on we're on on the path and so. uh also we are going to try to get back into those accents which to start were shit yeah they're probably going to be shit now but we believe in commitment we're gonna try at least we'll be consistent shits yeah which is the best kind of shits to have so feel free to tell us how we're wrong um just because it gives us interaction yeah Please interact with us. <laughs> please, please Dad, respond. Dad, talk to me. <laughs> Did you get cigarettes oh, yet? I need to plug Papa? in the charger. Papa. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, can I have a hamburger? <laughs> I would like a hamburger, guys. Hamburger. All right. Like a real so, American. Let's uh, DM whenever you're ready. So, last time we, we had Thomas and Pally in, it had been, it's been about two years since then. You've gone on multiple adventures with Duke, and you guys have bonded closely with this tiny little dwarf man. Um, you're <laughs> lately you've been hired by the king. The king reaches out to both of you and Duke, the three of you, to to go on different tasks for the region. Does Duke live with like in proximity of us now? Duke lives about he lives a little ways out. Maybe he's about a day's travel out. But, uh, but he visits often. He, li he visits often. He he does live by the hillside. He has his own little cottage that he usually like attends to. You know his uh, his his pet dragon very well at this point, Saloon. Uh, she's a I would say she's maybe a young dragon at this point. She's a black and blue dragon, very sweet. Loves you guys. Uh, and yeah, I would say maybe like once a month you guys travel out to have tea with him when you guys aren't adventuring. Um, and. So, your recent travels have brought you to this dark cave. Uh, it's about two weeks from your town, which is the town of Dalhurst. That is where you guys are from. And the king of Dalhurst, by the name of Asnenth, has summoned you, basically said that there was this wondrous item that, basically, there's been this beast that's been taking all these local fishermen and different merchants and uh, different adventurers, because they heard that there was this wondrous item. That was being held by this whatever creature was. Right. So after going around, you had a few leads. You found yourself into this dark cave. Uh, within this cave, you start hearing like screams and you hear muscle kind of tearing as you basically wait it out until everything kind of like dies down a little bit. And creeping into this big dark cave, you see this uh, this creature, very long neck, and it's currently sleeping. And within it, you see, like, all these different bodies within this kind of cave. And you see, like, nestled behind it, you see, like, the handle of a sword. And that's where we currently are at, at the moment. So, what do you think you guys would do in the... What would the oh, Bash Brothers do? Pally, I want the fucking sword. Yeah, me too. Uh, You've got uh, a sword. I will. I want another one. Okay, well, I'm going to take one. No, what, what? Rock, paper, scissors? All right. It's never going to stop <laughs> <laughs> fuck you <laughs> so why you fuck guys you, do Patty. that and you scream fuck you you hear it go <laughs> and it looks and it wakes up and it looks at you as it slowly slowly starts getting up it has this kind of like gold scaly skin and it has these uh they're like whip like tendrils as a tail as it roars at you and you're like well shit Patty. Yes. <laughs> I want the sword. No! And I run. You run towards it. 
Okay, Jesus Christ, this is great. So you start going towards it, and you're gonna you're gonna attack it at all. What are you gonna do with it? Uh, do we know what it is? D- you can both roll uh, nature checks, see if you know what it is. That's probably not good for me. Oh, I believe I have good nature. Oh, it's only two. Minus one. Four. Five. It looks like a big dumb snake thing, <laughs> ha, but it snakes. has arms and, <laughs> and legs, so it's not a snake. <laughs> Uh, and it's just like about rrr. where is the sword compared to so the beast? So I'm gonna beast. use for comparison. This is you are not fighting a Draco Lich, but it is currently here. The sword is back here. Okay. So, so we'll use this swarm of rats as lot, the sword. It's a lot of movement that I don't have. Are we this far? Is it? Yeah. Is this about so where? You, basically, what you're gonna do is you are you gonna you're gonna, gonna swipe at it. I'm guessing. The, the sword? No, you're going to swipe at the thing that's guarding the sword. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Okay, so basically you charge at it, and with Mongo's Claymore, your prized possession, yeah. you're like, I hope my son never breaks this. You, <laughs> you cut into its neck immediately as blood starts spraying out. It's like, Argh! and you just like a big steak knife. You just kind of saw through and just clean. The head comes off. My sword, and, and I the go The body and starts, it. doosh. So you get to the back of it, and you're like, oh, this is a nice sword. It's got this really dope handle, and it's got different jewels encrusted in it. And Pally, while you're watching this, you're like, fuck, I really want the sword. And Duke's like, I don't know, maybe next time there's, like, a cool sword. Maybe you can get that. <laughs> uh, you you see the body, like, start twitching. And you see, like, this film kind of, like, go over where the neck wound is as a head pops. And another head pops. Oh, it's a uh, fucking Hydra. It goes, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. So can I have uh, Thomas, please? And Thomas is here. As the body is here. As it... <laughs> and there's one head looking at you guys, and one head is just looming over you. Roll initiative. Uh, uh Pally, I think I fucked up. Yeah, you did. And Why? only you... <laughs> <laughs> this is only your fault. You should have let me have the sword. Natural one. Duke also got a natural one. Uh, uh, my initiative is plus one, oh, so I have a two. Uh, Duke has a zero. I have. <laughs> oh, I've got nine plus my. This is nine. It's nine. Nine. Yours yeah. is nine. Your yeah. initiative okay. is zero. It's you, zero. <laughs> I miss the blood. Let's, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is gonna go great because he goes first. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> our new Hydra friend is going to bite twice at Thomas because it has two heads. Of course. So let's see what we got. Does a natural 20 hit? Uh, yep. And does a... I'm guessing a 12 does not hit. No. So that's, that's good a, that I critted. That's a miss. Um, let's see. That is... 3d10. Oh, great. Because he critted. Super exciting. Oh. And, uh, that's a... That's 10. So let's see what's going to happen. This will be great. Okay, so let's. <laughs> Twenty-six points of uh, piercing damage oh. as it just bites into you, that's and it? you see the other—that's uh, <laughs> it. You see the other head kind of like slam at you, and you're able to dodge it, but it's kind of like goading you into basically moving, and then it just <laughs> chunks in. It's That's almost you get. it's almost like you don't want both of your heads. Bally. Me. You're okay. up, my friend. How close am I? That close. So, okay, <laughs> that's the actual... Okay. Yeah. I would I say that's about the thing. Okay, so I move up enough. It's about the space I get. All right. Um, okay. Also, real quick, uh, just Josh moment. I have never played a druid before with spells so so excited there's gonna be a little bit of learning curve that's a, um, that's perfectly fine you got this. okay back to okay so let's see what spells i have um, earth tremor seems neat is that one Ooh. is that a, is that a useful one right now oh no look was it did. Uh, tremor within range oh it's only 10 feet oh you'll be close i need something that's like uh, b- b- so I have two attacks. Perhaps a moonbeam. Yeah, I was thinking that actually. So if I have two attacks. You do. 
Does that mean two spells? Yes. yes. Does that mean a spell oh. and an attack? Can you? You can do that. Those are two it's spells. A, it's an attack action. Oh, maybe not two spells. Only but one. Oh, if it's concentration. Right. I think you could do an attack and a and even a spell an attack spell. spell I think you can only do one spell per turn. I but I could think. do a spell and then a physical yes. Yes. attack. Yeah. Okay. Then, what I'm going to do is shoot it with the crossbow okay. first, and then use moonbeam. Go ahead. So crossbow. I get a 9 plus 3. 12. Is a 12 hit. 12 misses. 12 misses. All right. So. All right. So well, bit of a there's hide. an arrow for you. And. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Boom. <laughs> Ding. Da, 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 da. So here. That we, almost hit me. So Moonbeam is is a 2. Is a Unless you spell. cast it at a third level, then you'd get 3 D10s. Okay. And it's going to make a save. Yeah, you should probably do that. At a, th- a 3. Yeah, why not? What? You're in danger, not me. I mean, we're we're both in the cave. All right. Well, if I if I save you, I get the sword. Never mind. We cast it at a second level. All what's right, the uh, level what's spell the range? It is. It's thirty feet. Uh, one twenty. Uh, oh, what's gross. the uh, what's the circumference of the spell though? Do, 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 do. Range is one twenty with an area of five feet. Five feet. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought it was bigger than that. Mm, uh, no. Oh, so it won't hit me. That's that's the thing. Yeah. I don't worry about. The moonbeam? About moonbeam. Oh, because once it's whatever it. starts its turn in there gets a shit ton of damage. Well, thankfully that's not me. Yeah. Okay, so moonbeam. Do I, do I have to roll? Do I have to uh, roll for that? Or? Give me one sec. Okay. It should tell you when you look at it. It's a 40 foot high cylinder. Actually, yeah, and it's a 5 foot radius. Okay. Oh, it's a vertical beam. Yeah. I zoom, thought it was as like, opposed to a, like a laser. Okay. Yes. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on its turn, so it's not going to do anything yet. Next. Turn. But when it starts, we're gonna. I'm gonna roll a Constitution saving throw, and regardless, you're gonna roll three d10s. You're gonna, okay. Uh, well, no, I'm two. doing it. I'm doing two. Two d10s. He wouldn't give oh, me the sword. Oh, so you did it. So two d10s, and then you'll just keep doing that at the beginning of every turn. Okay. And so you don't have to redo the, it. The, the con, con saving throw. throw. Okay. If it makes the save, it's half. It's only half. But what's but nice about Moonbeam, you don't have to keep recasting it, because you have it already up. As long as you maintain that concentration... You okay, have to just and what breaks concentration? Getting hit, hit does, does And then you make a save. Also? You make a save. But, you would but do a hitting constant. someone wouldn't... No. no. Okay, cool. Alright. Yep. So you Moonbeam it. Anything else? Uh, let's see, I got bonus action. Right, so... So check out what you have. Where's that ensnaring thing? Oh, I gotta get rid of a spell slot, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Do 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 do. I don't think you can use another spell as a bonus action. No. Um, no, he has some that has oh, bonus does he? action spells. Right. You can use that. Okay. Uh. They say B A. Yeah, this is a B A. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm B A. Well, I'll just do. I'll do Shield of Faith. For bad. Oh, that's a good. Ass. That's a good smart. It's a yeah. two. It's, it's two concentrations, though. Oh, you can't double concentration, Even so then you would drop the moonbeam. Oh, okay. So, well, do something that's not <laughs> concentration. smite? Nope. You're I'm just gonna to wait. Up. I'm gonna wait. You're gonna wait. You're gonna wait. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see what Duke's gonna do, because... Whoa, I thought I had... I oh, yeah, no, you're up. Go ahead. You're, no, you're Duke. good. Uh, oh, Pally, you did nothing. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you wait. Did- you... I'm looking at him right now. You did nothing. Yeah, you wait. I made pretty lights. What did you do? Uh, made a second head. Well, made a second head. You should be proud. Just do something. All right, fine. <laughs> so I will attack his uh, legs with Mongo's Claymore. Two-handed, please. That is a... Oh, shit. Uh, not on the right. That is a 15 to hit. 15 just hits. 15, alright. And do I want to dump a spell already? Uh, I will... Oh. I will drop a... <laughs> thunderous Smite. Alright. So, me, uh, first time you hit with a melee weapon, aud- uh, <laughs> Thunder will, is audible within 300 feet. Uh, it deals an extra 2d6 of thunder damage to the target. Mm-hmm. Additionally, if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a strength saving throw. It will be pushed 10 feet away from you or knocked prone. Okay. I'll do a uh, strength save. Yeah. Three d6 plus two more d6. Do, do Hydra speak draconic? Three, four, 
five. Okay. You, I would, you wouldn't know. I would. I wouldn't know. It didn't make the save, so it does get knock prone. Oh, perfect. Six. Would that mean? Oh no, I have to hit it first. Six, eight, ten, twelve, plus twelve plus three, f fifteen. Okay. Oh, plus 1d4. Oh, does that now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, alright. Plus 1d4. Uh, what I say? 15. 15 plus 3. 18. So 18 points. 18 points of That's attack 1. Damage. That's attack 1. And Don't I will it, attack. Hit. And if I hit, it's a crit, right? If you... It's an auto crit because he's prone. Oh, it is. Go ahead. Oh, please, lord. Oh, that's a natural 18. That's, that is. That's gonna hit. So... I roll double all of my die. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop another smite as well. <laughs> okay. Because uh, Pally was talking shit. Because you guys are gross. <laughs> yeah. So that's six die just for Mongo. And I'll drop a divine smite at level one, which is another two D8. D8. Oh, it is D8. You're right. Your smites are D8. Smites are D8. Uh, so that's that. And. That is that. Yeah, good thing this is a good monster. <laughs> oh, and I get to double default as well. So... Eh. So gonna, many dice. You're gonna have to Christ. start using uh, so one loud. of those apps. I, I love it. Oh, fuck. Uh, 11. 13. It's gonna be short. 15. <laughs> and that's the end of the one shot. 18. Yep. 20. Mm. 30. Mm. 7. Plus 6. Which is 43. 43 points of damage. 43. <laughs> for the second one. Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay. So you, you fucking lay into this thing and you manage to cut off one of its heads and it just starts swiveling and I swerving. just look at Pally. That's, that's how it's done, Pally. Good, we're back to square one. Well, I got us here, so my, it's my fucking sword. It's my fucking sword. I mean, I want rock, paper, scissors, but... Whatever. I love you. Yeah. I love you more than words. <laughs> <laughs> more than words. Uh, you're my brother. You're my, you're my brother. You're my real brother. Uh, Duke's gonna go, all right, that's interesting. Uh, and he's gonna unicorn blast. Oh, it's been so long since I've Unicorn Blasted. <laughs> that sounds like Climax. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Duke, you're so far away. I don't... I don't really want to be up close for this. Why? What do you mean, why? I don't know what it does. It smells real bad. It's... You're not helping your case. I, I prefer to be here and safe and clean. Who's gonna take care of my dragon? Uh... Let's see here. That we got Martha one. and L. That's fourteen. Fuck! I just missed. Fuck. Mm. That'll do it. That's a eighteen, and that is uh, ten plus two, so that's twelve. Uh, so you see the first blast kind of go off. He's prone. That's at advantage. Right, Duke. You too. Come on. Okay. So both hit. Great. Okay, so that's 6 and 12, so that's 18 altogether. Okay, so Duke just kind of like Iron Man pulsates, and you see just this arcane light of just rainbow fucking hit this thing in its side as this one head just goes... Alright, let me take that away. And... Jesus Christ, that was one round. Uh... <laughs> And, and now it's... I'm going to make a con saving throw. Moon Go ahead clock. and roll your 2d10s. Do you want... Yeah, I'll take one of yours. All right. Got the blue one. Oh, yeah. That's, and that's what's, the, oh, that's what's the save? Sorry. Uh, so it'll tell you. Where is it? To do moon beam. Moon beam. Uh, 14. 14. Con 14. Just made it. Okay. He's so, saved. Yeah. So he's going to take half. So it's halved. Can I have? Uh, yeah, right, that, right, yeah. Alright. Uh, eight, so take four. So four. Okay. So, as your moonbeam starts enveloping it, it starts screaming as you see two more heads pop out. So now it's at three heads. Oh, good job. Now there's three. 
You did it. You were the last one to hit it. I didn't cut anything off. Well, you know what? So it is going to move. You get an attack of opportunity against it. I will absolutely take it. And, and its move. movement is halved because it had to get up from the yes. right? Yeah. Correct. So, yeah, it got up. Oh, that is going to be a... Fuck, why do I keep going back here? Uh, No, it's going to be a 12... 12 does not hit. No. But it's going to move over towards you, and it's going to attack three times, because it has three heads. Can someone please come help me? Help! <laughs> help! Any, anyone? At all? Alright, let's see what we got. This is a wonky-looking D20. Um, Does a 19 hit? Yes. And does a... That's going to hit, but I'm going to ask anyway. Uh... 25 hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's roll that down. Gonna hurt, hurt actually. <laughs> it's not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Alright, so that's that's a miss. Uh, 25 is my uh, armor class two years ago. I'm um, at 32 now. So you take uh, 19 points of piercing damage as two of these heads just kind of rip into both of your shoulders as the third one just kind of snaps at you and you move back. All right. Well, all right. Uh, I guess I'll just die here alone, guys. Thank you. Okay, Bally. cool. I Bally. get the sword. <laughs> Bally, you're up, Oh, Bally. it's me. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's me. That's me. Okay. <laughs> I'm well, here too. <laughs> just to get up to help him, uh, can I make it with with my movement in Misty Step? Ooh. Be, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. What does Misty Step do besides 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 feet. feet? It's an extra It's 30. a bonus action as well. Okay. There so. you go. That. No, it's. I use my bonus action to misty step behind uh, this thing. Okay, Hydra. Well, we don't uh, know that. Well, I'm just gonna put. We're dumb. <laughs> the super so pretty, super though. snake. <laughs> Why does it keep growing new heads? Uh, aren't you the smart one, Duke? I mean, I'm not incredibly intelligent. He's not smart either. Well, no one's smart. As long as we have a good time, Duke's right? <laughs> Kind of. Friendship. So this is your moonbeam, by the way. Okay. Just so you have a you want visual. You these? Yeah, things? let's use yeah. a ring. Because I don't... Oh, good idea. Just give me one of those rings. I'm going to use blue, because that's your color now. Yeah. So it's about here. And then your bonus action would be to have moved the moonbeam. So currently it's still there. And blue. To Missy Step. But I appreciate the, the advantage. So... My trident has 1d6 plus 3 and then 1d8 plus 3. Is yes. that two-handed? I believe so. So I And can... then you can also... I th what is it? It's the vengeance. Vicious. Vicious. Yeah. So you can... It might not work here because I don't think it has any... Uh, was it... Uh, not resistance. The opposite of resistance. It's like Weakness. Weakness. Yeah. Uh, but you can change the type of damage it does. Oh. So if you're like, oh shit, we're fighting undead, you make a radiant trident. If you're fighting Ooh. like angels and shit, you're like, guess what? Necronets. Necrotic damage. Cool. So it gives you a little bit of different flavors. Okay. So... Also, that gives you a range of 10, so you can be behind it and give yourself a little distance, I believe. Isn't it? Isn't the trident uh, a range of 10? It says 20. Oh. I know you can throw it. Oh, that's probably... Is it 20? Uh, it says 20 feet slash 60. Reaches 5. It reaches 5. Yeah, so, so, yeah, you can have, yeah. Okay. Then, uh, so that, I use my bonus action, so I can't do, like, a smite. Yeah. And um, you can't move your, your moonbeam. Yeah, I can't move my moonbeam. Do, do, do. Bally. New, Bally. new spells. Yeah. Like he's it. back. Back. So... I get two attacks. That's two actions or two attacks? That's two attacks, but one action. One action. Okay, two. so I couldn't find out if this mm -mm. speaks draconic. No. Okay. I mean, you can talk at it if you want. I won't call it as an action. Okay. Uh, I yell at it in draconic. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you know what I'm saying? And one of the heads... And it was not in draconic when it screeched at you. Okay. I'm going to yell but you heard back him. in Pally at draconic. You're fucking stupid. And Duke and Draconic is going to respond, You're both fucking stupid! 
Love you. <laughs> I love you too. I love you, boys. <laughs> You're my boys. Okay, so I'm going to use the trident uh, two-handed to attack his feet again. Okay, go ahead. And I'm at advantage, correct? Yes. So that is a 23. Uh, 23. That's it's going to be a miss. Uh, it's a miss. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So I got my D8 plus three, mm-hmm. which is seven. Okay. So seven points. Seven points of damage. All right. And what else? Um, you get another You attack. get two attacks. I do. Spell. Ooh, yeah. I like it. See what I got. Just I think you out. also have Thorn Whip. Thorn like whip? Karama from Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, yeah. He was cool. He had red hair. Uh, Action. I've got Ice Knife. Oh, nice. That's when you have a. It literally, it's like an ice spike that comes out of the ground. That's cool. Earth tremor. That's now you're you in. Do now you're in range of earth tremor. Range. You might as well try it. Try it out. Yeah, why not? Yeah, see what happens. Okay, so I, I do an earth tremor. All right. What's earth tremor do? What do I got to roll? Do, 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 do. What was the uh, last dex, damage? It was seven. Is, yeah. Okay. Uh, dex is thirteen for the save. Mm-hmm. And on a failed save, creature takes 1d6 and is knocked. Well, no, I'm not going to use it. He's already knocked prone. No, no he he's came not. Back up. He's, not. he's back he's up. not prone anymore. But I swiped at his legs. Yeah, but he's not prone. He's got four legs, Pally. Yeah, but I hit two of them. In my head. So okay, he's... fine. I use Earth Tremor. <laughs> okay. So it's what? A deck save? Uh, yeah. Deck save 13. Okay. He does not make it. He is knocked prone and prone at E6. Again. Ooh, six. Nice. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the battle, Pally. We did it. So six and seven is 13. Okay. 13 and he's prone. And um, he's prone. So that means I... Is, is uh, the ground that the area is loose earth or stone? Uh, it is... I would say it's a, it's a dirt kind of... Like a ground. dirt ground? Yeah. Okay, because now that becomes difficult terrain for him yeah okay so his movement's like corded now yeah if he wants to get up <laughs> that great moving good great okay and uh anything else you would like to do pally i don't think i have any movements all right domus all right so pally uh thanks for showing up appreciate hey, it no problem <laughs> thanks Kisses tardy to the party <laughs> <laughs> better late than never i suppose uh so i'm attacking at super advantage right that's yes. <laughs> oh man, uh, fifteen was the best roll on that. That's good. You just Hit. roll until you get fifteen a 20. hits. Uh, okay, so it's still it's prone, so it's a auto crit. Yes, right. So that's double damage, and I I cast two smites last time. I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm, but oh no, you can dump as many smites as. Oh, you can you? All right. Yeah. So uh, six, six, deep ball again. Mm-hmm. There's a two, three, and what? Well, I need <laughs> another one. Sorry, it's uh, it's tough to keep track of all these die. Oh, look at me! I'm so strong. Forget it. Your penis is large. Don't forget, you have smites too. I do. Yeah, and you have higher spell slots, so you can do more d8s than he does. That's right, I can Two. do more damage. You could do like four. Three. Six. Twelve. Nine. Yeah. Fourteen. Plus six is twenty. So twenty points. Twenty is the points first one. is attack is the first attack. Okay. Uh, that's a natural fifteen and a natural twelve. So Okay, the- so yeah, but you hit. Okay. okay, and uh, let's dump a smite. <laughs> so, uh, quick question. Sure. Because I'm dumping a smite on a crit, mm. does that mean the smite is also doubled? Mm, no. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, well, uh, I'll cast another level one smite on this poor beast. Is it his uh, specific type of smite that he can do after an attack? Or can I do that? You can do that as well. You can do that as well. One... <laughs> Three, six, low. Twelve, eighteen. Oh, you were just te- you were just teasing. Twenty. Me. Oh, it's more this than is last. Twenty-two. So this is dumb. Twenty-six. I hate this. <laughs> Thirty-six mm. plus six, 
42. God damn. Okay. And you manage to slice off about two more of its heads. So, keep going for the heads, right? That's what we learned? Yeah. Eventually, it will run out of heads. I think so. All right. Duke, you agree with this? I mean, I, technically, I haven't fought one of these before, but sure. He's got four legs, so at most, he can have four heads. That sounds that sounds about sound. Four yeah. heads? Four heads. Four heads. Four heads. All right. Oh, four head. Got this it. This is all four heads. Four head. Got right. it. So, uh, great. And he's... We'll see how a unicorn lasts. How do I move my... That's a natural moving. 20. It's a bonus action. Bonus action? A, yeah. Okay. 14 plus 6, so that's a 21. Can I use a bonus action uh, spell see, as an action? Yeah. Um, oh, but then I don't get two. You bad. don't get okay. two actions. Uh, you would still get two. If it's, an, if it's an attack, you would still get two actions. But if it's a bonus action used as an action? Yeah, as long as it's an attack. Because in order to get two attacks, your first action has to be an attack. So Duke does okay. about 30 points as he just fucking blasts this thing and you see this giant gaping wound on its side as it thrashing its head and it is going to get up and on it it pops four new heads and there are now five uh well and he's like duke's like no four isn't the max four isn't the max well i thought we had we were on to something oh but he's got five fingers on each oh 20 Mm. that's so many so too many too many (laughs) So he's going to attack Pally three times, because mm. he has three heads there, and yeah. you two times, because yeah. he has two other heads. Are All they right. on opposite sides of the body? They're kind of like, they're, they they're can long. stretch out. Oh, they're it's long. not like cat dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, are you cat dog? <laughs> uh, Pally yes. does a 20 hit, uh, a modded 20. Yes. Okay, good. And Boom. then tell me, does a 22 hit? No. <laughs> does a 10 hit? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, regardless. Weird. It's so weird. Uh, it all works out in the end. <laughs> always works out. So that is, that's a three and a nine. That's 12. 22 points of piercing damage as these two heads bite into you and the third one's coming. And you can kind of see it coming from a mile away. You kind of side swip that. And then let's see what we got for Thomas. Double sixes. Okay, never mind. Nothing happens. They they try to snap at you, and you just kind of bash them away with your your knuckles. Uh, and Pally, it is your turn. It's me again. Okay. Um. Let's see. Move well, so I can use my move. You can move it movie, as a bonus. But I also have ensnaring strike as a bonus action, and that will trap him. And then I can move him. I, I don't think he wants to go anywhere. But if I move the moonbeam, he moved last time. Yeah, but <laughs> we're on both sides of him. Yeah, you'll have a and he's, yeah, he's got oh him. true you're not he's got right. quarter movement because he's on difficult oh, terrain. Oh yeah, all right. He's so I'm gonna use my moonbeam. I'm gonna move it. Yep. I'm gonna move it to on under him. him. You can put it on his horn. I'm gonna. That's what I was gonna do. Make him super horny. Do we like the Draco Lich model? By the way, it's I very do. nice. Yeah, it's very tasty. Nice. Okay. Okay. Wait until you fight one of those. Oh mm-hmm. fuck! That's gonna be good. That's not gonna be so. I can't. But now I can't dump a smite, right? Bad Pally. Yeah. With Pally. Yeah. Bash Bros. Bash Bros. Yeah. <laughs> and Duke's um, like Bash Bros. <laughs> uh, bash Dad. Shut up, Dad. I'm like Bash Uncle. <laughs> That's fine. Bash Doubtfire. <laughs> So love it. Don't okay, bash. so what what can I do here? What this can't is just you do back here? to attack. Can, so you could do your ice dagger. You can bring it up. You can you can just attack and smite on it now that you have. You the, can so dump, I can use a you, bonus action spell as one of my two attacks. So the bonus action spell, it's not technically okay. You can use a bonus action spell, yes, as one of your. You can attack twice. That's part of your action. A bonus action you can you add on top. So technically, you'd be like attacking three times if you did a spell. So let's say, for example, you did um, uh, a spell as your attack, uh, a trident as your attack, and then a bonus action second spell. Mm-hmm. You could do that. Uh, I don't know if you could. I don't. But wasn't my know. bonus action moving? Yes, it was moving. Oh, you also so need to roll concentration. 
because you are attacked oh, to see if you can keep Moonbeam. Oh, yeah. Roll, roll a, uh, a constitution saving throw. A little retcon action. Yeah. Okay, so... Con, it's a save? I'm going to say it's a save. So plus one? That was, wait. Yeah, plus one. Oh, so what do I... Oh, okay. Tell me. It, it will tell you. Moonbeam. Fourteen? Uh, what was that for them? That's, that's a... That's for them when they need oh, to make your, the save. Your con, your is also save is 14, yeah. so I have to do at least a fourteen. You have to ha- you have fourteen to keep it up, at least. Okay. So I have to get thirteen because of the plus one. Yeah. Fourteen. Ah, you keep it intact. Bash Bros. Bash Bros. Ah, uh, concentration. Bash <laughs> <laughs> We still love you. <laughs> Hello, my lovely. Okay. Oh my god, when you see Drew, he's wearing a fucking Duke sweater. <laughs> he's like, you have one too. <laughs> We're brothers. We're brothers. Brothers. Okay, so I'm going to Every a- attack with my trident again. Okay. And you don't have to dump a smite until, until, until you, I know, you, until you, know, you, you hit. know if you hit or not. And then if you critical, then you dump. So the first them. one was 17. Well, you get advantage. Yeah, it's some good. Everything. Mm. See if you crit everything. Two. <laughs> Alright, so the 17 hits, and then 17. would you like to attack again? Because you get two attacks. Oh, yes. Well. Okay. That is a 9, and a 2. So, so what's the 9, nine plus? plus. Uh, is it 9 plus 3? Oh, no. Uh, oh, it is 6. Yeah. So 9 plus so 6 is? 23 and a 15. Both hit. Both hit. Right. Perfect. So I'm going to dump a smite. What level? Wrathful smite mm. of. I've only got. Oh, that's. You can. It can go. go wherever. A uh, uh, one. It's two. Two d eight. I think. For wrathful yep. smite. Yep. It's for each level. So first d6? level is two d eight. Uh, d- it's wrathful is different than divine. So if you just do, you don't have divine technically there, but you can do a divine and it's two d eight, and per level. At level one. At level one, and then each level you go up, it's an additional d eight. Okay, so I have. Did both of them hit? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can dump two smites if you so like. So if you wanted to, potentially that would be 4d8. So 4d8. Unless you do it at a higher level. And then these two d8s. Yes. So it's 6d8s. Four. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 6d8s. So do you want some d8s? So yeah, D8s? I would love that. All right. D8s as well. Would you like some? Two. Three. You know what I'm gonna do? I have my dice four, bag. Five, six. I'll just do two fours. Just kidding. I need one more. One more? I do uh, have a paladin, so I'm gonna give you all my smite dice. Hell yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. I smite. I mean, a I have lot. another. Mm-hmm. But I've got these now. All right. That's for the table. These I need from those Duke. Back so. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Okay. It feels nice, doesn't it? it does. Just rolling all those dice. Okay. Yeah. One. See, do you want the app? No. You want to fucking roll the dice. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's nice. But so sometimes you five, have too much. six, twelve, fifteen, nineteen, twenty-five. Twenty-five. How do you want to kill it? Ah. Uh, yeah. uh, I want to. Wait until the the heads are all lined up yeah. in just a very nice row. A nice row. And I, as I'll, they all look at you. Yeah, they all look at me. I stare dead in the eyes and say, "I wanted to talk this out, but my friend is an asshole." And then I just I do a big arcing swing, chop them all off. They all go 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 go. And then I just stand there. Fuck you, Thomas. Sword's mine. I sheath the sword. <laughs> I run up and I just start taking it from him. Okay, uh, if you guys want to start fighting over the sword, you can do uh, strength checks. Actually, no. Uh, I cast command. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and cast your spells. What's the uh, the uh, save on it? Uh, fourteen. So go ahead and roll. What is it, con? Uh, yes. So do a con saving throw. No, no. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom save, uh, Domus. Wisdom. What's the fourteen? 14. <laughs> Nine. So, what do you command him to do? Give. Wait, wait, wait. I might have something to not do this. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. 
No, that's not. I think you have to give him the sword. Damn it. I think you have to give him the sword. I'm Ringo Starr. <laughs> did, did he write a song about an octopus? I wrote one about Look, a I little want it. yellow submarine. I wanted submarine. Fan Square. Won it? I did all the damage! I did. I beat you in rock, he paper, scissors. He commanded you. I commanded you, so sword, please. And yeah, you feel compa- compelled. You unsheath the sword and you see this kind of glaze. You've done this so many times to him before, <laughs> like whether it's paying for drinks at the pub or, you know, you know, going to the bathroom first, anything like you want to do, you've done this a few times. And he just, he hands over this very gnarly sword. Uh, and if you would like to look up the sword on your equipment, uh, oh, you can go to manage equipment if you'd like. And it is uh, called a sword of wounding. Wounding. So... And also amongst it, you see behind 120 gold pieces. Is it a short sword? It is. A wounding? It's just a sword of wounding. So is if, there another version of it? So I would say maybe a long sword. Long sword. If there is an option. Yeah, there was also like scimitar. So do long. Long sword of wounding. Nice. Okay. Looks, okay. Cool. You got. You got. And it, then. Uh, and then you would have to attune to that, but. I'll hold off. <laughs> okay. I'll need to attune. How gracious now. of you. Yeah. Well, and you know what? We can split the money half. Oh, thank well, you. Well, thirds. You have to give some to. Thank you. Looking I out for you. I need to buy a you know feed for my my pet. So you guys kind of convene and you you get the sword and um, anything you guys are particularly doing on your way back to uh, I have it here Galhurst. That was fun. That was good. I like that. I'm, I missed it. Thank you for the sword, by the way. I don't know why I gave that to you. I think you're just generous. Maybe and that's right. just like yeah, very generous. Yeah, and he kind of. Puts his hands on both of you. How's uh, how's the wife? Oh, she's good. She's uh, what is it? Four months oh, pregnant now. Four, four. Yeah. already. Yeah. Well, boy, girl, girl. Uh, we th- we don't really know. She she thinks it's a girl, but it could be a boy. It's pretty early on. Any names picked out yet, or? We're gonna wait and let him pick his name or her. It pick its name. It sounds stupid. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. It's a boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His name's Drew. I like it. Drew. His yeah. name's gonna be oh jeez, I'm gonna have to start knitting two sweaters now. Oh he's small, it's fine. <laughs> it's a little one. This is a baby sweater. You can just you know those uh, little wiggle worms that children have. Mm. Yeah, just something about that size should be good. Alright, so just do like a worm thing. Yeah. We'll grow into it. We'll grow into it. Alright. No, no, that's good. Tube top. <laughs> <laughs> Very narrow cold fronts. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, yeah, no, I guess I guess so. Yeah, that sounds good. That's great. Uh, and, you know, it's it's about a day out, I think I said. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it takes about a day and you're back in Dollhurst. And uh, Duke's like, well, I'm going to hit the heads because he's. it's about, like, you can pass by his house at the time, like, you guys are more than welcome to stay, if you like. Yeah, it's stay for a night. night. Why not? Stay for a night. Uh, so it's you... Like a week? <laughs> for a week. A week. Don't you want to go home to your family? Mm, yeah, but, you know, you offered a whole month. I think a week is <laughs> the <laughs> least we can I do. No, I didn't say that. I, he- uh, I heard it. No, uh, you're... Yeah. No, both no, of you uh, are not going to bully me into that. Last time you stayed for a month, you broke everything. I had to listen, buy all new plates. This is our month. <laughs> we met two years ago. This is our month. This is not our month. This is, it, it is. It's kind of our month. That's right. It's our, oh, it's our like, month. Has it really been a year, two years? Yeah. Ah, you still give me headaches just like when I first met you. Good times. No, this was the best. <laughs> I just smile really big at him. Oh, you fucking dicks. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you go into Duke's little tiny cottage, and immediately waiting for you is is Saloon, and she uh, just tackles you, Pally, and she starts licking your your face, and just she's a big old 
marshmallow, big old puppy dog. And she's, you know, she's young, adolescent kind of like size. So she would be maybe, I would say, from like here to here. So she's pretty, she's fairly big and she weighs a little bit. And she goes, I missed you. As she licks you. She's, oh, because she's she, speaking. She's draconic. She's intelligent. She's a dragon. Dragons talk common. Oh, they, oh, they do? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, she's Benedict Cumberbatch, bro. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smog. She's like, so what did you, what did you guys find? Dad, dad, what did you find? And she's like, fucking, hey, hey, just calm down. All right, that's fine. She's excitable. She's very, you know this. She goes, so, so what did you, what did you find? What did you find? What did you find? I was here all day and it was just boring and it was boring and I just waited and then I ate some rabbits and the rabbits. Well, we uh, got some uh, gold. <gasps> yeah. Do you want some of it? Yeah. You know that she's a dragon and she loves gold. So I start like, I, like you would a dog. Oh, and you, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I pretend to throw it. <laughs> and she looks at you. <laughs> What's this goes, behind your ear? <laughs> And do you pull out yeah. like a gold coin? Do a sleight of hand check. See if you can do it. It's going to be so bad. It's going to be adorable. Gonna, what is my awful. <laughs> it's a plus zero. All right. Uh, oh, shit. 19. 19. So you just, you're like, what is this behind you? Yeah. And she's like, did you, did you learn new magic? That was, that was good. That was actually really good. And Ooh. she just goes, dad, wasn't that good? That was good, dad. And he goes, yeah, no, that was great. I'm making tea with everyone like tea. I'm making tea. And he just, he go, you kind of just Do hear the... Do you have anything quick. stronger? Thomas, I'm a dwarf. All right, I want the stronger tea. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Strong tea? Do you have anything harder? Drugs. <laughs> Do you have psychedelic drugs? Pat. No? Good. That was a test. <laughs> I would like to point out you can do druid craft. You can make like psychedelic mushrooms if you wanted to. Yes. And you're gonna trip bald. We're gonna go to Mars, dude. And kind of like Duke's like, all right, I'm gonna get changed and comfortable. You, you know, you know where your places are. He has like a guest room that you guys kind of like split up each night. Like one guy will crash on the couch, and then one guy will get the bed, and then you kind of alternate. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, he leaves and Saloon's just really excited to see you guys. And, you know, when you first met her, she was like, she wasn't talking and she was basically a baby. Uh, very mundane kind of words. Maybe she was like a toddler. At this point, she's kind of like a preteen. So she's a little moody sometimes and she's very excitable. And so she's like, what else, what, what else did you get? What, uh, did, were you fighting, um, um, an ogre or was it, um, um, goblins again? It just had a lot of heads that kept coming out of its body like a hydra is that sure yeah that's did what it, it have was. um like a tail that had tendrils like did, this did and she kind of does like this <laughs> did it have a tail with tendrils that's the first thing i said it yeah <laughs> i'm just playing into okay. the fact that i'm stupid because you're stupid i'm stupid there were tendrils that were heads yeah so duke did the tail have yeah. tendrils? From my memory, it did. Yes. Yeah. It definitely did. Oh, so you fought a hydra. Wow, that's ex that's exciting. You guys survived the hydra? Well, not that... I mean, you guys are you, but that's a little surprising, no? Uh, no, it's not. We're super We're strong. We're basically the strongest guys you've ever met. <laughs> I'm super strong. Well... Oh, yeah? Yeah. Arm wrestle right now. Why don't we go outside? Okay. So you guys kind of... Boom, boom. I got to pull up stats for a young dragon. <laughs> And you guys kind of do this every once in a while where you kind of just spar with with Saloon. It helps her with her kind of like fighting ability. Um, being both a blue and black dragon, she you know that she both has, uh, I believe it's lightning and acid breath. So just heads up with that. Cool. Blue dragon. She's not a wormling I'm anymore, so young. So. so she's primarily blue with a little bit of black. Okay. I'm going to dump all of my lay on hands. <laughs> no, you guys, it's been about uh, like a long rest. So oh, you guys are it. fine. Uh, long rest? Great. Love so it. are you guys still rest. armored or you guys aren't armored? Uh, I would assume we are because we just came back from travel. Okay. And then you're going to do non-lethal damage on Yeah, of course. Okay. 
And she's going to do the same. You guys are basically play wrestling at this point. Uh, if you guys want to roll initiative real quick. Yeah. This is adorable. Oh, right. Uh, 19. 19. Okay. And... Pally? Uh, 11. 11, okay. And she got an 11 as well. So, let's see. We have Tom. Satan. And 11 was after your modifier? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Pally. Uh, okay. Thomas, you're up. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put Saloon here. Cool. And, um... Yeah, that's adorable. Sanctuary, water creature. <clears throat> Alright, so... I will approach... Uh, we're doing non-lethal damage, so that's just like punch, punch. You could do punches. It's um, yeah, it's kind of like more hand-to-hand kind of thing. So like grappling, you can obviously do. I will druid shit. If um, you, want to. Mm-hmm. you know she's resistance to poison, and she has resistance to uh, lightning. So I you will guys can do like lightning and shit to do, her. And we'll um, I will use goading attack. Mm. Uh, oh wait, I have, oh, it's a weapon attack. So you got to hit. So. Do you? Got, I would say. You could, <clears throat> maybe you guys have like uh, wooden kendo like uh, swords yeah. that you guys can kind of use. Okay, so I'll hit her with goading attack, and okay. I'll be like, "Are you ready, Saloon? Always ready." Okay, let's do it. And that is a oh shit! I already forgot what mm-hmm. Mongo. It's been a while with Mongo. Uh, it's an eighteen. Eighteen just hits. All right, and I'll attack She's again. A dragon man. Yeah, that's yeah. a natural seventeen plus yeah. six. That hits. Those both hit. So, what am I doing for da- Oh, Mongo I'll is say, not Mongo. I'll say it's like... <clears throat> my strength modifier, so... I would say it's a d6 per attack. Okay. Like so, one d6. two, two d6. And it's non-lethal, so it's yeah, like, yeah. It's just kind of like, you might... You guys might be bruised up after this. Five. Her dad's the healer. So, five? Yeah. Okay. Five points. And, uh, I dumped goading attack, so anytime she attacks... Anyone but you. Anyone but me, it's at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, as long as she... Makes the wisdom safe. Okay. Yeah, uh, superiority die. Add to the total. Oh, it adds to the total damage of the throw as well. It's a D10, I think, as long as it succeeds. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So it's what's the save? Uh, it's a 14. Okay. Uh, she wisdom. She got a 15 wisdom. <gasps> so she's like, you've done that before. <laughs> and she kind of just smirks. And she any doing anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. She's gonna go ahead and attack. I have to oh, actually I'm build up. her, because she's pretty yeah. interesting. Um, let's see how many attacks they get. They get multi, bite into claw. Okay. And this one is the same multi-attack, but I want the... Okay. Hmm. So she goes, which one do you want first? Do you want the lightning or do you want the acid? Mm, Lightning. Lightning? Okay. (laughs) And she kind of inhales in, and I need you both to make deck saving throws. Nine. Good. (laughs) Also a nine. You both take 20 points of lightning damage. 20? As you're like, fuck! And she goes, you asked for lightning. Well, he asked for lightning. I didn't say anything. And then she's going to go ahead. She's not going to do a bite. She's going to kind of do a headbutt. Uh, let's see here. And I'm just going to say it's a strength. So it'll be a plus five for it. Uh, 15? Miss. Okay. So you see her and there's kind of a hollow like, pink, And she's like, you, ah. you've done that before. Ha, ha, ha. Get ready for the acid one. Pally, you're up. Okay. Um, okay, so again, I can do a spell and then attack, and that counts as my one action? Mm-hmm. Okay. As long as it's an attack with the spell. The spell has like a Like a 1A there, right? Yeah. It needs to... So, in order to have two attacks, you need to attack with your action. You can't, like, cast a spell and then attack. Right, but that action. could be the bonus action. If it's a bonus action spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'll cast command. Okay. So it's What's a the save? 14 wisdom. It's a wisdom save. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, what do you tell her to do? Oh, I didn't think this far. What were you going to do? <laughs> I did thought it was g- wasn't going to work. Forfeit. <laughs> and she looks at you and she goes, "You're trying that thing again." She got an 18. Oh no! <laughs> She's like, "You're both really bad." Is this what you guys do during the fights? Do you talk a lot? Oh, I know that answer because I'm smart. You do. It worked on the Hydra. Smarter than a Hydra. So I run up. Barely. And then I just punch her. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack. Actually, I'm going to go on the other side. So I have just enough to do that. Okay. Two. Fourteen. Fourteen? Uh, Fourteen misses. Or twenty with the plus. Oh, so you got, punch. you got a twenty? Yeah. Okay, twenty hits. Go ahead and roll a d4. It just says it's full. It's just full. Yeah, it's just, full. just a okay. straight full. So, yeah. So you just, poof, and her head goes, poof. <laughs> oh. Okay, Thomas, you're up. All right, uh, am I now attacking at advantage? Technically, yes. Right. Uh, so, I will, um, I don't really have anything wonderful with spells so i will all right let's um let's see if you've seen this one before Mm. and i will use my oh shit what is it my channel of divinity Uh uh-huh where i use sacred weapon so you're gonna turn your weapon into uh, magic weapon? Yes. Okay. Magical adds plus one to attack rolls and emits bright light for 20 feet, dim light for 20 feet beyond that. Okay. You can end the effect as blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. So you, you're just going to make your the wooden sword? Yeah. A magical weapon? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to imbue it with a positive energy. Okay. And it adds plus one to attack rolls, so that means on top of the bonus, my strength modifier mm-hmm. is also plus one. Cool. Yeah. Lock it. Uh, that's kinked. That's a natural eight. It's a natural two. So that eight, nine, plus five, fourteen. That's mm-hmm. a miss. It's a natural seventeen. And a natural sixteen. Okay. So the second one will hit. Yeah. Go ahead. And four again. Okay, another four? Yeah. Okay. All right, and then she's gonna, her wings are gonna stretch out, and she's gonna pop up if you both want to take an attack of opportunity against her. Right. Okay. Add advantage. Uh, sure. Gross. 16. Mm hmm. 14. 14. Okay. Oh, I guess. Do you Plus include. What? It was at a natural 16. Yeah. Okay. So 22. 22 hits. And what'd you get? 14. 14. So you kind of like, she, since she's facing you, she kind of sidesteps, but she misses you and you just kind of elbow and she grunts a little bit as she goes up about 40 feet into the air and she kind of hovers and she, let's see who she picks. Saloon, how is this fair? I'm a dragon. We You're can't using magic. Lie. You, you use, use lightning. magic. I told you I would use the breath. I asked you. I was being fair. And she looks at you and she immediately comes down and she's going to pounce on top of you. At disadvantage. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, the goading. The goading. Uh... She succeeded on the, the wisdom save. Oh, yeah. she did. So yeah. she's fine. She got a 15. She needed to get a 15. <laughs> she got a natural 19. So she's on uh. top of you and she goes. <laughs> she's just playing around with you and she just kind of bonks head so you take like four points of bludgeoning damage on your head as you know you guys are kind of like play wrestling and duke's like what the come on what are you all doing get inside and as as we're standing there i'll, I'll go up to saloon and i'll just throw a punch real quick and she smacks you with her tail <laughs> so it's like <laughs> <laughs> she's like and she gets up and she kind of helps you up with her head and her claws as you stand back up that was really great guys you you were doing Really well. We just almost had you. We were so close. And you look at her and she kind of smiles. And she goes, sure. And yeah, she said it, so it's true. It means it's true. <laughs> I'm so much smarter than you guys. That's a low bar. It's a, lo- 
it's so low I can jump over it. <laughs> I can just step over it. Yeah, well, you can fly, so. Yeah, it's not fair. <sighs> You're doing it again. It's not fair. <laughs> So you kind of just, like, follow her. You guys put your stuff, like, where you usually put it. And uh, Duke has all this tea set out. And he's like, I'm going to get started on dinner. And you guys just basically have a really lovely night of just, like, hanging out. Like, Saloon is just enthralled by every single story you give her. Because, you know, she's still a dragon. And Duke is worried about her leaving the cabin. Because, you know, someone's going to want to slay a dragon. And she's, she's a chromatic dragon. And as you guys classically know, that any, like, colored dragon are evil. Mm-hmm. But you, Duke told you the story of how he found Saloon. He was with his adventuring party trying to stop the rise of Tiamat. And there was, you know, this blue and black uh, dragon egg that they found and it started hatching and he had to make a choice whether it was to kill this animal or, you know, this sentient animal or give it a chance to live. And Duke being Duke couldn't kill a baby. Uh, took this, you know this little dragon on this these adventures and like i said by the time you got to it she was more like a toddler so she was able to talk to you very rudimentary sentences but through duke's kind of like care and she's grown into where she still has the tendency like she is a little greedy she's still a a colored dragon but where they're usually evil she's she's not so evil and you know she's you kind of see her less as like a pet and you see her more as like a daughter for duke like this is duke's daughter so you know she and she's just enamored with you guys she loves you she loves her uncle pally and loves her uncle thomas so much and you know she asks how the baby is and oh he's great he's oh i can't wait to meet him someday we'll we'll bring him up yeah soon. you promise yeah, absolutely oh, I, I love babies i think i've never met a baby before do they hold really good conversations uh no no you didn't used to either so I it'll I it'll feel, come with time i feel like i did well, and Duke's like, well, for about a month, you kept calling me uh, Mama. So that was different. I kept saying Dad, Dada, and you said Mama a lot. So, you know, it was like, you know, babies kind of just do that. And she's just like, well, you know, you're kind of like everything for me. You're you're my mom. You're my dad. You know, you're, I don't, you, Dad, you're you. And, uh, you know, you he's guys are uncle. He's our uncle. Yeah. So you guys kind of just have this really nice night of just kind of like hanging out and whatnot and. You eventually the next day, you you guys head out and you know Saloon's sad to see you guys go, but you guys will be back I'll, soon though, right? I'll give her a hug and then I'll like I'll hide like two gold pieces and I'll be like, don't tell Duke. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and she yeah she hugs both of you and she goes, you guys will come back soon, right? And you give me more adventures, more course. stories. Oh, of course, of course. Oh. Did I did I see him do that? The two. You can roll perception if you want. And you can roll, like, sleight of hand. Oh, three. Tom. Wait, you do sleight of hand first, because that happened. What? First. No! I got a 30? I was just doing an action. You're lying to me if I see it. Just get a two. Fuck you. Natural 20. So I see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, yeah. You're, you're able to just slide it over. Natural she, 20. She just, she just kind of smiles, and she's like, thank you. As I, as I walk away, and just... And she goes... I didn't see it, so <laughs> I just yeah, I get I give her a hug. Yeah. So you guys, you get eventually back to Delhurst, and um, everyone everyone knows you by now. You guys are kind of like the the workhorses of this this village. You you know, you guys are very well respected. Everyone you know checks in on you. Everyone you're basically like just heroes of this town. Uh, everyone's oh, like, we oh, got my- a long rest, right? Yeah, you guys yeah. get another long rest. Uh, you know, it's a lot of like oh, Master Payne and. Uh, Pastor Dinner back, and it's so nice to see them. And yo, how did your adventures go? And you guys kind of have like the sword wrapped up in like a sheet, and you're like, oh, just you know, official business. Have to see the king. Mm. <laughs> around and, again, around again, again. And uh, eventually, you get back to the king's quarters, and he waits for you, and he goes, so how did it go? The same as every other adventure we go on went swimmingly. We are the greatest. So, what did you manage to kill the thing that was killing all those farmers? Oh, we did. Pretty easily, actually. What was it? A hydra. A what? A hydra. What it's is like, that? It's like a It's a big, beast. scary thing with a lot of heads. Something that most people couldn't handle. But That's true. Because we are so great. Fantastic. It was fine and easy. Yeah. You, roll you kill one head and we'll come back. And <laughs> I'll help him. So, you can roll at advantage. 
12. So. Oh, wait, let's see. Am I deceptive? 15. 15. All right. Okay, and he goes, Well, I can always count on you boys, can't I? Always. So what was the thing it was guarding? That's the question. Well, that's a question for Pally. It was money. And a sword. And here's the sword. Wow. And he kind of... This must be a pretty impressive sword if it was guarding it, no? I... You'd think so. Well... Please take it as payment, obviously. You will be given your retainer. I'll put it back into your, your accounts for you. But yes, you're more than welcome to this sword. Yes, thank you. I'm so glad that I earned it. So, we do have another conundrum. Okay. We have another issue coming up. Uh, always seems to happen. Yes. There is a um, neighboring town, uh, as you've heard before, uh, that there is a uh, Lernanian. Lernanian. Uh, there has been this weird, odd sickness that's been going on, and we've had our best clerics go up there. Obviously, not as great as the other cleric, Duke. But we've had our best ones go there, report back, and it seems that there's this kind of disease that... <sighs> your mission, if you choose to accept it, might get a little hairy. Physically hairy? No, not physically hairy. Just, mm. that's his figure of speech. I have a son now... Yes. So... I, I know. I don't want to contract him with illness. Well, you can't get disease, can you? But he... But he can. can. Oh, he's he can still not. stay on you. Yeah. I don't know how that works. So, it is... It's this very, very deadly uh, disease. It's, uh, it's the red... Death, as they called it. The Red Death. It's been it obliterated quite out. quite manageable. It's mm. been obliterated out for years, but it looked like, you know, it, it spread from Octero to possibly to here. Um, now, there's a very long and complicated cure for it. It's, it involves going to the Nine Hells. And Couldn't us. we just kill everyone? And then, like... Potentially, you could do that. Yeah, but are they evil? They're not. No, mm, they're no, nice, but, them. like... The thing is... Greater good... How do we spin it? There, there is, there's an easier way, and you know you might not like it. Oh, the nine hells sounded fun. Well, we do. We have heard of a neighboring. There's a mountain range over the Frost Irons, that is uh, home to a a certain scaly creature that you fairly intelligent. Um, it's a dragon, a red dragon. Right. And for the red scare, death. You need red dragon blood. Okay. Well, I guess we could always go get that. I don't see why not. Sounds like a job for us. The, the Bash Bros? Us. The Bash Bros. <laughs> the Bash Brothers. Us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I do know that the, the city would be forever grateful if you would be able to. How much does it pay? Well, uh, it does pay quite a much, a lot for the, uh, for the dragon's blood. And yeah, yeah, the, but double like, it. The town is gonna definitely pay for that. Uh, how much is that? Hmm. Uh, if I remember. I just like to count my gold before I complete a mission. It's about 500 gold a piece. What, are you a dragon? Sometimes. Uh, yeah. yeah, you are. <laughs> so it's about 500 gold a piece. Is that enough? And I don't roll both what you know about dragon's blood. What would this be? Uh, oh. Arcana check. Okay, two. Nat twenty. Did you really? Yes. Yeah. So you're just like, ew, blood. It's dumb. Dragon's blood is incredibly precious. Like different ones have different kind of properties, but you know, in general, dragon's blood is basically it can be anything you need it to be literally anything you need it to be. Mm. If you had a vial of dragon's blood, you're like, shit, I need poison. You just kind of concentrate on it and it kind of just turns into poison. It turns into whatever it needs to. So That's if you gross. had something where it's like, I need this to be a cure, there mm. you go. You have okay. the cure for it. How much dragon's blood do we need? Well, so far, it's only been quarantined to about three people. We're trying to keep our best away from that to keep it from spreading. Right. Uh, it's been, the Red Death had been abolished for quite some time, but there was a, like I said, there was an incident in Octero. There was a child. Very sad. Very sad. Um, and it just looks like it's kind of spread uh, a little bit. It's kind of like 
honestly, the equivalent of it outside of it is kind of like uh, smallpox mm. or polio, where it's like it was a really like tough thing, but now people have grown immunities to it. Mm. But it's a very deadly disease if it gets to someone like your son who yeah. hasn't been exposed to anything, or you know your potential son as well. So it yeah, could Elle's potentially pregnant, be right. So yeah, we've got future generations to think of now. We got to protect them, I guess, even Plus. for five hundred gold. And then I whisper to the side because mm. I don't know if the king knows it. Dragon's blood, red dragon's blood, can become anything. 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 It's incredibly valuable. Like it's people will pay so a lot of money for dragon's if blood. If we take all of the blood, yes, and if we somehow just set up a system <laughs> where we can keep taking the blood, then we can sell the blood, and I know how to start a business now. All right. I read it you... in a book. Book? How to start businesses. <laughs> <laughs> How to start businesses. Everything you learn in business school. Businesses for idiots. And also the book, Everything You Don't Learn in Business School. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I like this. I like it. We got it. Alright. So, we haven't died yet. Bash bros. Wonderful. Uh, you, you both will be going together, or do I need to tell them that Duke is coming along as well? Oh, uh, Duke always comes along. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Okay. Wonderful. So that's going to still be five. That's hundred gold yes. a piece. All right, yes. just making sure. It's going to be a lot of resources. And for could them, you but... supply us with uh, travel, perhaps horses or a dragon? Oh, I can take care of the you horses. You can roll uh, persuasion. I will assist him in that. Okay, you can roll at advantage. Oh, uh, maybe I should persuade him. Mine's plus six. Oh, uh, mine's plus four. So, uh, so that was eighteen because he's charming. So charming. Twenty-five. <laughs> he goes well. Um, <clears throat> I can I can definitely provide horses and uh, anything else you think you would need. Oh boy, uh, vials for the blood. Yes, a vials. lot of vials. A lot of vials. A lot. Uh, okay. Just to be safe, you want to get more than than you might need. Sure. The glass is fragile, especially with. I mean, Elle's pregnant. I have little Rufio. Mm, so mm. we want to bring a little bit back just in case. Sure. Oh, sure. Um. Okay. Uh. Give me about uh, a half an hour or uh, forty-five minutes. See if I can round some things up for you. Oh, and uh, slight off to the side. What are the materials to make drugs? <laughs> to make my psychedelic shrooms. To make shrooms. Yeah. You're a druid. You can just grow the shrooms. Oh, I don't need. Oh, well then forget. You can I use druid you. craft. You're like <laughs> drugs. Okay. And you're like, we're going to trip bowels. <laughs> you could do peyote. We're like, going to examine anything that's souls. Anything that's psychedelic and natural, you can grow it. Perfect. Then never mind. Forget I said anything. Cool. Like, that should basically, be like, it. meth. You can't make meth without cooking it. I don't want meth. And you need a lot of, like, matchbook strike pads and, like, PHC, like, PVCs, pipes, and Do you know how to make strips. meth? <laughs> Aluminum foil. Um... <laughs> You need a lot of, like, cough syrup. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no, I, I think that does it for us. Uh, well, boys, this sounds like another fun, super fun-packed adventure for the Bash You sure you don't want to come? Um, no, my place is here. You probably won't die. Probably. Yeah, we haven't died yet. No, you haven't died yet, but you've done so much damage to things. Well... The, everything comes at a price. And the price. 500 gold, that's the price. <laughs> <laughs> I will gather your horses and any other materials I think might suit you. Perfect. I'm getting suits? What? Getting, ah, I love suits. No, baby died in the suit. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very tiny suit. It's, it's nice, so though. Small. It's, very small. it's so small. It's a grave suit. <laughs> it's a grave suit. Okay, so during the 40 minutes, are you doing anything? Drugs? No, no, I'm, I'm no, responsible. Like, <laughs> I'm just staring at your hand. Uh, do you want to visit your families? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, very much. Okay. Should we visit them together, or are we going to separate? Uh, um, we'll go together. All we right. don't have just see everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We know you know you would know that Elle and Martha kind of like they're they're, they're like cop wives. They kind of just pair up. Pair at up, this yeah. point Because it's like, hey, you're pregnant. I have a son. Like, I'm lonely. You're kind of lonely. Our husbands work together. We have a good rapport. Let's just hang out. Yeah. So they're most likely Common area. probably at your, your place because that's where Rufio lives. Yeah. That's where your son lives. That's where he's comfortable. Yeah. And, okay. So you kind of go up and Martha just gives you a big old hug and Elle is with her little belly is, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a cute time and Rufio is kind of like hanging on to your, 
your leg. Like, throw him up on my, my shoulder. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll just be like, so, I know we just got back. Oh, God, what are you doing? Uh, well... And Pally I'll, can tell you. Oh, no. And Elle looks and goes, Pally can tell me. Yes, we are going on a business trip. The king is supplying us with horses. And so it will be super fast. Yeah. And Rufy goes like, horses, 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 horses ass. <laughs> no, shut, you can't say ass. that. No, ass. No, don't. When did he learn to say ass? <sighs> hey, hey Rufy, yeah. no. say, say that word again. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just, he's got like the chubby kid hands and he's like, ha ha ha. Oh, that's a good word. Say that word a lot. <laughs> don't, ass. don't, not in front of mom. Not in front of mom. I give him a piece of gold. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, that's fair. I, I can't, I can't be upset. You gotta pay the kids a, you, a curse. You just, and <laughs> she goes, how long are you gonna be gone for? Uh, as long as it takes. Did, what, did, did the king say how far? I, I would say probably in the conversation, it, it's about a week's travel out. And trying to find the, the dragon is probably going to take a little bit. So in short, like it'll month. probably be like three to four months. Uh, months weeks. weeks. Yeah, A month. So tops. A month. A month just, tops. You tops. Just, you just left. Well, it's for 500 gold. And Do we really need 500 gold? I mean... it. And you're kind of in this giant like mansion. Like... <laughs> It would be nice. It would be nice. I want the I want our son to grow up with the best of everything. So I know. It's And I have Pally with me. Duke's gonna come. Oh, that poor old man, you're still gonna drag him around with you. I mean, he beats us places sometimes. It's <laughs> when we're asleep, but it's fine. <laughs> sure. Still He's counts. got the little legs, you know, it takes he a while. Does have the, he does have the little the little legs. Can you do me a favor while we're gone? Anything, yes, dear. Take the boy to go see Saloon. The dragon? Yeah. She wants to meet him. <laughs> she wants her. Oh, jeez. That girl is so incorrigible. Yeah. She's, she's been trying to see the baby for a while. She accidentally on purpose hit me in the face with a tail. Um, did you deserve it? Yes. Mm. Smart girl. <laughs> Clever girl. She's good. She's and good. So Elle is kind of like glaring at you. She's like, you just left. Oh, it'll only be a month. Be back before uh, Drew's due. <laughs> and then what happens when you come back and the king says to go off again and then it's another two months. No, you're no. You're going to be gone when your son is We're going to take a break. Oh, we're going to take a break after this. After this is done, we're, we're going to take well, a, a take hiatus. A sabbatical. What's the job? And she looks at you. Well, um, so there's this thing, mm -hmm. there's... and we have to find it. Okay, to so help. you know uh, that what what was the name of the town? It is uh, Lorenian. Lorenian. So you know the town Lorenian near us? Yeah, it's about yeah a weeks travel. They, right. Yeah. They've had a, an outbreak of of the red death. Red death. That old disease? Yeah. Yeah. Currently, it's it's quarantined to uh, about three people, but we can't let that get any further. It can't come near sure. us. We have to worry about Drew and, and Rufio and... And one option is to go into the Nine Rings of Hell. Which we were about. We were okay with it, but we... And Martha's like, no, you're not about. We, yes. I mean... We hell, said, we said hell, no. Hell, 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 <laughs> hell, hell, hell. No, 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 Rufio, stick with us. Rufio, stick Rufio. with us. So we, we said, oh, that's too dangerous. We have families we have to think of. So we're going to get the blood of a dragon. A red dragon. And you can't the, just say, get the blood from Saloon. She's not a she's red not dragon. She's not a red dragon. And she's our friend. She's basically our niece, your niece. I can't believe you would our even say niece. that. You can definitely, you can roll at uh, disadvantage to for guilt, <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> I also would like to guilt her. Can he be a straight roll? Oh, never mind. No, it's his. It's L. Oh god, no! He gets disadvantage on anything against her. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. It was a three. So. It was a three. I mean, she, let's see if it's a one. Not a three. <laughs> she goes. Don't do that. Oh, it's you're just, right. Dragons are incredibly dangerous, and I don't know about you, but I would like my son to have a father. Well, 
to be fair, we just killed something with five heads, so... You did what? What? Nothing! Well, to be fair, it started with one. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Just like that. And Rufu kind of squirms and he's, uh, he kind of goes down. He's two. Like, he's three-ish. He can talk a little bit. So he kind of just runs off and he starts playing with toys. and He does that kid thing where he just starts bringing you shit to have you look at it while you're talking. <laughs> Great. Yes, thank you. And it's... It's, uh... I don't know what he has. He probably has, like, a stuffed teddy bear or something. And he just, like... Bear. Yeah, no, ah! this is a... There's a bear. You you did it. And it's he great. starts wrestling the bear. So, are we still trying to convince the wives? They just... I'm not happy about it. Look, we're not happy about it either. Somebody else should be able to do this, but they can't. You know that we're the strongest and... Best and... Greatest, smartest, humble. Thank so. you. Very humble. <laughs> Very. Uh, we can't say it because that wouldn't be humble. <laughs> when do you leave? Uh, forty Shortly. minutes. Can't you tell him to fuck off for at least a, a, a night? We can have you guys for a night. I think we can manage that. Oh, yeah. We'll just talk to the king. I'm sure he owes us many favors. You know, kings are known for being understanding <laughs> and, and patient. Would you like us to talk to him? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, that would, would be lovely. And they kind of look at each other, and we will be back. I will watch the boy. Okay. Uh, and as you watch the boy, you're doing anything with, with little Rufio? All right. New word. Fuck. <laughs> Boom. Nope. So close. Fuck. Um. Here, let's try this. And I whap him on the head. <laughs> Not that hard. <laughs> Now say fuck. Bear wants you to say fuck. Bear? <laughs> and Bear's just like... Fuck. Fuck. Um, we'll work on it. But again, not in front of mom. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You're doing so well. <laughs> and he's like, uh, yours? And he's pointing at the, the new sword. And goes, yours? Oh, yeah, it's mine. Why? Uh, because your dad is not as strong as I am. Why? Mm, that's Poor definitely genes. not true. Uh, you and I both know I could kick Uncle Pally's ass whenever I want. Ass. Yeah. Yeah. Only when I'm asleep, though. Why? Uh, because I can't defend myself, and it's the only time your father can actually win a fight. Ha <laughs> I'll punch Pally in the face. Okay, block go it. ahead and <laughs> roll on an attack. Uh, it's a natural 13 plus whatever. So it'd be strength. Uh, so 16. And what's your arm? 16. Arm? So you can roll a d4 and punch him in the face. Mm, punch him in the face. The two. So you just kind of... <laughs> ah, I it was it almost like he was asleep. <laughs> I basically was. Uh, 25. <laughs> 20. 25? Definitely yeah. hits. You get 1d6. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 1d4. 20. Oh, so he's just making again. things up. <laughs> the first it. one was true. It was 25. Okay, go ahead, roll a d4. Oh, it's just 4. Your Black. strength okay, modifier is a just 6. Do... I just, I want, I want you to strength, add things. Your yeah, strength 19. modifier. 19 plus 6 is 25. Yeah, but your strength modifier can only be up to a 4. No, you do. It's an unarmed strike. No, I wasn't doing an unarmed strike. I was just, like, it was just a strength all right. Oh, so then you guys both punch. You guys 22. both punch each other. Yeah, we punch each other. <laughs> and he's like, ha, 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 again. Okay. Okay. And so you guys are just kind of like, you guys are just beating each other. It's dumb. Eighteen and this, thirteen. It's about like 20, 20 minutes before the wives come back and they have a piece of paper in their hand. I take it. Can I read? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can read. You see it, and it's basically, it's a grant that lets you, you know, it tells you where the horses are going to be. You have to leave first thing in the fucking morning. Just, you know, it's just, it basically just lays everything out, and it's everything in writing that, you know, DeCorey Flintback, Thomas Payne, Pally Den will be getting 500 gold pieces each. It's a big contract, and it says when you leave, which will be for tomorrow morning. This is why I love you. Thank you. Mm. So, dinner. We're doing dinner. Yes, I've been cooking all day. Yes. I like dinner. Is it as good as Duke makes? He makes really good tea. 
Duke actually is a really good cook. Yeah. And and food, but I'm focused on the tea. And Elle kind of looks at you code. and she goes, You can have tea tonight, no problem. Yes. Unfortunately, I cannot partake, partake in such because tea makes pregnant women very sensitive. But I, I hope you have fun doing it. Will you be partaking in tea? What's tea? No, we, we, I mean, tea doesn't, I like tea. Yeah, we'll have tea and then you'll be sensitive and I will give you something to remember me by for a month. Sex. <laughs> We're going to have sex before what's, I leave. What's, oh, I, we always have tea. I don't understand. It's, he's dumb. <laughs> Are we, what, t- what it's tea? Special tea. Oh, special tea. Special tea. It's yes, his special tea. I will be also special tea is his indulging special tea. in special tea and giving you something to remember me by. Very not great sex. As she's going to say, as long as it's longer than four minutes, dear. Uh, she kind of smacks you on the ass as she starts going back to. I hope so. No, I don't. <laughs> God, I, I don't. hope so. I don't. Uh, okay, what are it's you guys doing? <laughs> what are you guys doing for the rest of the night? getting just, fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I think just in, in, enjoying the night. You're gonna... Uh, we need to let Duke know, right? Uh, I mean, you will you can send correspondence and it'll take about a day for, like, the, the mail to get to him, but... Yeah, oh, we'll just ride well. to him instead. Fuck yeah, that. Sure. Yeah. Hold on, sorry. You good? Okay, so what are you, you... Would you like to describe your fucking tea experience? Oh no, just normal tea. <laughs> just, just, is it normal just, tea? I just wanted to be psychedelic. No, tea. no, no, no. It's 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 just alcoholic tea. Oh, okay. oh so it's, I yeah. thought we I were, thought we were doing. I, I thought, thought we were, were shrooming. I thought you were doing shroom tea. Mm. I thought you guys. No, were no, I'm not on that. She can't do it. I, I know. That's why she uh, said I can't partake I in special tea. Can. I mean, uh, she can't partake in alcoholic tea either. So yeah, you guys just you guys have lovely. Lovely nights with your wives. It's nice to see your son. Do I last more than four minutes? Go ahead and roll d20 for me. Con save. Oh, no. You bust immediately. <laughs> uh, it's a five. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, this never happens. It's five minutes. <laughs> Longer than four. And she goes, ah, lucky I love you. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, Twelve. Twelve minutes. He's got it. All right. Better than you. And yeah, you guys you <laughs> guys fine. just have lovely times in your own homes. Like, you guys are up late. You guys bullshit. It's, you know, it's the Bash Brothers on vacay. And uh, in the next morning, when you gather everything, you have two horses ready for you. And uh, you have one of the stables, uh, stable boars. Boars? Stable boys. Uh, can I borrow, um, I need to borrow one sheet. It's been. One, one sheet for what? One sheet since you're up for me. What are you trying to do? I know, but I just need to keep making sounds so we don't have dead air. So <laughs> dead air is bad. Oh, so uh, I'll also pray to uh, Pelor and, pray, and to pray to Melor. So it's kind of like that's your kind of like morning ritual. Like you both meet at there's this it's this one temple. Uh, it is a temple to uh, to Soon, which is the of civilization and in, uh, love and peace. Uh, outside is a uh, raven with its wings in, and it has a little offering dish. This is the offering to the Raven Queen that you would usually do. You'd put penance in, and then when you get to the temple, that's you know, it's just kind of like a safe place for you to mm-hmm. pray. Uh, raven Queen, what's she ever done for me? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Uh, you know, as you go in, it's this. It's just this fucking immaculate kind of church, and it's got roses everywhere and it smells of different flowers and the that specific uh church is uh one of the uh crimson uh guards uh he is a um a very a very gaunt very pretty man and he goes oh you're welcome back it's so lovely to see you uh his name is damien uh and he's just going off on another big adventure i see constantly is what it feels like well Please, you know, Soon's home is everyone's home, and you kind of, you guys get into your places, and uh, you pray, Uh, and as you do, there is another knight there that you know, uh, his name is, uh, he goes by Grev, or Grer, that's his last name, he just goes by Grer, and kind of goes, hey, how's it going, guys? You guys going on another super fun adventure? 
it's all, we, it's do always, we like him? Do we, do we like him? I want to have this conversation in front of him. You want to have we, that? Yeah, do, do we do like, we like Do we like him? Very funny. So, with Gary? Ga Greg? Ga Greg? Grer. Greg. Greg. Why are you mad? Grer what? Like a bear? Oh, like bear. Oh, okay. Uh, Not like a bear. And you see, he has a, a symbol of like this kind of like sun cresting over uh, peaks. He's not, uh, you know, he's part of the knighthood where you guys were in. He's a part of your graduating class, per se. But, you know, he's kind of just an acquaintance that he'll, he'll, you guys occasionally have gotten drinks for. He's pretty fun. He's he's just kind of a fucking nerd. <laughs> he's kind of a nerd. What's up, bro? Nothing. I'm just, you know, uh, I'm so bored, you know? There's nothing to do. You guys get to do all the fun stuff. You know what I had to do last week? I had to go all the way to a different village. I just basically had to round up people and it just... I, I was directing traffic, it felt like. Well, to be fair, hmm. they probably don't want you to die. It's just... As much as I love being here, it's just... It can get so boring, you know? Does he have a family? Grayer? Yeah. He has a wife. Well, think about it this way. Yeah. They trust us with the big stuff. Because they trust us to come home. Yeah. Because if, you're weak. <laughs> if you were to go out, you'd probably not come back. Because we, you're weak. We don't know that. I mean... I'm pretty you strong. You were rounding up people. We fought a Hydra. You're I read up on Hydras, and I'm guessing... Took reading. <laughs> I'm guessing it took quite a long time to defeat it, didn't it? No. It, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't. It wasn't too it wasn't bad. Too bad. Yeah, had five heads, but it was a lot. Well, where are you off to now? The wherever the fuck we want. <laughs> always so crass as as always. Well, are you trying to come along with us? No, I'm just curious. I want to know I what want the. You to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just mess it with you, and I do like a little hair tossle thing. Thank you. And he's got kind of like the sandy, kind of like blondish hair. Great. No, this is good. I'm glad we've had this conversation. Oh, always, me too. It's always a pleasure. I just want to boop him on the nose and be like, boop. You're so cute, Gray. It's, a, it's it's incredibly offensive. What? And as he's talking, you see his... You've seen his wife before. Very pretty young lady. She goes, Fira, it's time to go now. And he goes, all right. I'll be back, guys. Have fun doing whatever it is that you guys do. And we're going to fight a dragon. Well, now he knows. Well, I, I just wanted Tim to know as he's walking away. And he kind of, right. you see him stop. And he turns around and he goes, don't get eaten. Definitely not. Oh. Not going to do that. Actually, please get eaten. Love you too. Uh, hmm. Kisses. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. It he, went on my PP. It went on my penis. <laughs> and so you guys kind of take your minutes to pray. And it's about 10 minutes. And as you go out, you're... Your horses are ready, and on the side of it is, uh, it looks to be like this kind of, like, weird-looking bag. And, uh, yeah, if any of you would like to roll an Arcana check. Oh, not me. Minus one. Me too. Oh, great. Thirteen. Thirteen? I'll roll one as well, sure. just for shits. One. But it's a natural two. Like, uh, it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, gross. Is there a better bag and it's got like give us? It's got, like, eyes and kind of, like, a little, like, a face... Uh, in this kind of like mosaic pattern and you're looking at it and you're like that's not a how did you find and you kind of open it and you can't see the bottom of it and you go you kind of put something in it and like you get your trident and it just goes Shh, like a Mary Poppins bag and you go Thomas and you go trident and you see it starts coming oh no out. not just that watch this I open the bag and I step don't, inside don't step inside it don't it's, there's no air no, don't oh. step inside it. Don't okay, put anything living in it. it. Oh, okay. You know not to do that. Oh, okay. Please don't do that. <laughs> does it like does it like suck you in? No. Um, I'll explain it okay. later. But you know not to put anything living inside of this bag. Okay. But you know that it has a very big capacity. Yeah. It's bigger on the inside. What? Boop. And you see this trident just, and it just goes completely into the bag. Oh God! The ugly bag can eat stuff. It's a bag of eating. It's, a, <laughs> it's an eat bag. I love this bag of eating. Is that is that what it's called? That's uh, what it's called now. All right. It's you the know bag it's, of eating. I know it's a bag of holding. It is a bag of holding. So I'm convincing him. Do not step him. into a bag of holding. 
Yeah, don't step inside the bag of eating, because it will eat you. You can roll persuasion to see if he, that sticks for him. Uh, <laughs> my persuasion? Roll a 23. because I'm stupid. <laughs> So you, you're, you're just like, yeah, that's a bag of eating. That's, that's a bag of eating. All that's, right, all right. Do we have to feed it every hour? Like, is it is like it, a gremlin? The, what does it eat? After 10? Is it, do we have to, like, keep stuff in it, and that's what gives it sustenance, or...? Yeah, you know how uh, humans, they they just have to eat food constantly because there's always stuff coming out? Yeah. It doesn't get rid of anything, so as long as something's inside the bag at all times, it's full. Okay. Now, if, if we take everything out of the bag, it will get angry and eat living things so, like horses or us wait could we put like a cat in there and like just let it kind of mosey around no it'll die you put living things in there and it dies okay so only non-living things in the bag of eating yes unless we want it to be angry yes and that's true got it perfect <laughs> okay i know this now and then uh yeah so you guys kind of head out and as you start passing, it's about a day's travel out, and obviously you pass Duke, and he is all armored up. He is ready to fucking party. It looks like his uh, he's redone his mohawk, so it looks nice and like tidy, and he goes, all right, where's my horse? Oh, you didn't say you wanted a horse. I didn't know we had to get horses. I don't know about you, but I don't normally work for your king, like... <sighs> You guys do the deal. Well, we've been through this. How many times do I need a, I say I need a horse and you don't get a horse? I will get off my horse and use fine steed. Okay. And as you whistle, you wait. And it's... you. Whenever you use fine steed, it's the same steed. It's this beautiful white horse. Yeah, it's uh, a spirit. You mm -hmm. summon a spirit that assumes a form of a usual, unusually intelligent, strong, and loyal steed. Exactly. Do you have a name for your horse? Uh. Fukin. <laughs> oh my god, it's my yes. Fukin horse. My, my horse's name is Fukin. And Fukin comes up and. puts his head to yours. And it waits for you. Alright, let's go. Complain a little more, Duke. I'm just. I'm just saying. Oh. Get longer legs. I can't help that. That's my body. <laughs> Don't body shame just, him. I'm not. Just and Saloon ride go, Saloon. Saloon's like out. And she's like, where are you guys going? Uh, Don't worry about that. The boy's coming. <gasps> he Martha's, is? Martha's going to bring him. To yeah. Come say hi to you. Oh, I can't Don't wait. eat him. Why he's, would I? He's real little. Oh, and he's like he's super got, cute. Does he have a little chubby arms? Yeah, he's oh, pretty. He legs. He's pretty fat. No, don't eat the legs. Don't eat. Don't eat the legs. I'm not. I'm not actually gonna. Guys, I'm not gonna actually eat the legs. Just making sure. I'm, I was just double checking. That's actually kind of hurtful. I mean, you are. I a have dragon. to tell him not to eat legs all the time. What? That's true. And she actually looks kind of hurt. You're like you are a dragon. She's like what? But a favorite dragon. There are other dragons. I mean, not like you. Not, you're the best. And Duke's like, what the fuck, guys? Um, so, honey, I don't know how long we're going to be gone for, but um, it does involve another dragon. And she goes, oh, 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 no. Oh, well, what color dragon is it? I don't know what color dragon it is. Or was it in the, the, the message? What? Red. It was red. Wait. What are we getting red dragon blood for? Uh, money. <laughs> money. There's a there's a disease. The mm -hmm. red. The red. I keep wanting to say plague. It's a de death. The red death. The red death. The red death. I, I know that one. It's resurfaced in in a nearby town. A nearby town. It's only been in Octaro. What's I, that? Well, Octaro. now it's oh, yeah. it's at Len did, Lenovo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Learn, Lernarin, Lernarin, Lernarin. I don't know why. It's I now in Lernarin. <sighs> so far, just you know, That's terrible. I've seen the effects on that. Quarantine to three individuals, so I we have to move pretty quickly. I had a friend whose son died of it. Very, very sad. And that's why we have to get the blood of the red dragon. All of the blood. And Salem's like, just be careful, Dad. And she kind of puts his, her head to his and... Saloon, would we ever let anything happen to Duke? Uh, 
<laughs> I'm not. He kind of takes care of you and you take care of him. I get that. It's just, you know, not all dragons are like me, as you said. Hey, we he haven't like, died yet. He like stands in the back and Pally and I are the ones that get into the, the ruckus. Bring the fucking ruckus. Bring the fucking noise. I'm just... Just please, please, please be careful. We'll Come be, back. We'll be fine. Come back with stories. Oh, so many stories. And... Then maybe oh. some more gold. That would be cool. Red dragons. <laughs> oh, red dragon hordes are big. <gasps> and they're... <gasps> please bring me back something shiny. Shiny. Got it. Of course. Shiny... Worth value, I'll know. And she kind of puts her finger out. She's like, I will know. It's dragon intuition. We'll see. Just be careful about hordes. Um, if I can give you any kind of insights on dragon dads, you used to fight dragons all the time. Yeah, I fought a white dragon, I fought a black dragon, I uh, fought a red dragon, green dragon, and blue dragon. I fought in all the dragons. Yep. Uh, she kind of goes, okay, don't we show We fought up. a hydra. I also fought the hydra. Yeah, but you were way in the back so I don't know if you saw it or you not you know that's kind of you know what happens to the last people that I took care of they died that's not very reassuring do you know why they died probably should have been better at your job no it's because they didn't listen to Duke <laughs> we don't ever listen to Duke and, and it's here gonna we get are. you killed one day just saying yeah. haven't yeah. died yet we're yet st we're still here but she's like guys if you if the dragon is still alive and you touch any of its gold, it is going to know. It knows every single piece of its hoard, and it knows exactly where it is, and it's not going to be happy. Dragon hordes are very, very, very precious. Can we replace it? If we take no. one gold coin, we no, can't swap it with another. Know. It's going to know. Even if you were just like doing a wash, like a straight wash, it's going to know it's not its gold. It's not going to care that it, you put something back. What if we add to it? If you add to it, I don't know. I'm gonna try that. We should do it. Well, good luck, guys. Love you, Saloon. I'll stay here. We'll see you again soon. Yeah. Saloon. Yeah. You like that rhyme? I wrote that for you. <laughs> it was so catchy. I've been working on it for like weeks. <laughs> and it, she laughs. It shows. And she goes, oh, all right. And she kind of, you know, puts her head to all of you guys. And she goes, I can't wait to meet the baby. We're going to play so many games. And she just, she kind of goes back inside and... All right. On to the next adventure, eh? Let's do, do it. you know where the fuck this thing is? It's across the frost something mountains. It's over the frost iron mountains. That sounds right. Yeah. That's pretty far. Yeah, yeah we, we have got, horses. We've got a few weeks. we got about a about week a and week's half, travel. Two, two weeks travel. Single week. More like three weeks. Oh. He was being a little... He was being nice to you guys. Great. We should probably send a letter. Back to, to our to wives. The, to the wives. Oh, uh, well, Saloon. Uh, yeah? Let, oh, that's not going to go well. Let, uh... We'll, oh, I can we'll, give we'll, people bad news very well. We'll like also... Like this. Um... <laughs> we'll also send... We'll leave a letter with Saloon. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want me to write it? I'm good at writing. Yeah, do yes, that, please. <laughs> and you see her, and she kind of gets this big, like, kind of easel, and she has this pe long piece of charcoal that's been, like, sharpened, and she goes, well, what do you want me to write? That you guys are going to be gone for three weeks, and you lied to them? Uh, no. no. <laughs> the king is a liar. We want you to say that the king misled us, and we're going to be gone for, like, Six weeks. Like a... Because the king's a lie. Because the king lied to our faces. You know, I've met Martha and Al quite a lot of times. They were here for all my birthdays. I'm a dragon. They scare me. <laughs> yeah, but that's, we won't be here, so... Yeah, that's why we're having you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And she just starts scribbling away, and she... Duke's like, all right, so we have, uh... We have gold coin on the uh, on the counter in case you need to get anything delivered to you. Uh, we have this, and she goes, "Dad, I know." The I king's know. a liar. <laughs> the king's a liar. Uh, she goes, "I know, I know, I know." And he just he's like, "Take care of yourself." And it's just it's he's just a, he's a worried mom. Duke, and so, yeah, she's just, she's gonna be fine. I just get worried. That's all. You, she could always come with us. 
No, she cannot. I don't know. Nah. No, someone's got to meet the. That's the true. Wife. She has the the letter. That's true. Someone says she time, has the Sailor. most important job of all. Next time. Taking the heat from our wives. Oh my god. Uh, so, yep. You kind of guys, you start going out on your journey. And I think with that, that'll be a good little, like, tipping off point. Yeah. This, uh, we didn't get to any of the things that I wrote down. But <laughs> I, just, I just, I've been having a great time with you guys. And I've been having a great time with these characters. No, it's fun playing with Duke. It's like, and, and uh, obviously if you guys are watching this, you watch our other campaign. And uh, getting to set up that relationship with Rufio and whatnot is yeah it's awesome. a lot of fun. It's yeah. awesome. So, well, yeah, you want to take us out? Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, the camera's over here now. Like, comment, subscribe. Give us comments. Tell us what you want to see. Tell us what you don't want to see. Um, I and will do this naked if you want. He won't. I will. He won't do it. I won't let him. That's I edit true. the videos. I won't let it happen. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Check out Top Tabling on Twitch. And we will see you on the next time. Love you. Fidget spinner. Love you, bitch. Batch. Natural 20. <laughs> it's actually a two.